So if you have time, go and give yourself a mental workout and see Spider-Man No Way Home. So let me return control of the meeting to uh, Toastmaster Susie. Thank you. Aloha, Dr. Ken, for that wonderful to table topics session that really targeted the theme of the day so excellently. And we all got motivated to work out a little every day. And I'd like to introduce speaker number one. Somebody who I really learned a lot from over these many, many years of coming. It's almost three years, folks, that I've been coming to Toastmasters every Wednesday. So enlightening. Has taught me so much about speaking. I cannot express how much. I'd like to introduce speaker number one, Toastmaster. I mean, speaker number one. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Okay, for timer, it's six to eight minutes. <clears throat> my title of my speech is Get Lost, Get Famous. <laughs> Greetings, Toastmasters. Hey, Moose. <laughs> How's it? That's how I open up my videos usually. Well, if this speech was only about the beginning part, which is a missing hiker, then it would be short and it would be simple. But this is not that. It's also a speech about this topic, which includes mystery, conspiracy fairies, aliens, demons in the Mojave Desert. It just goes on and on. So what are we talking about? Well, this is a story of Kenny Veach, that's Beach spelled with a V, and the M Cave. Now you might think, ooh, M. M, is that uh, the shape of the letter M? Is that the M means something? Is, you can ask all these questions because I tell you something, I get all of this. I derive it all from war-like wrath. War? War-like wrath? What, what can you be angry about? What's the... Warlike Wrath is a YouTuber, and that's his gaming name, so salute to him. He is the one that made the most videos on Kenny Veach and the M Cave. Others have done so too. This is a story, a missing person story, simple as can be, but it turned into a urban legend. First, I'll tell you the story a little bit. This is what we know. Kenny Veach lived in Nevada, more closely in Las Vegas. But if you go just north of Las Vegas, there's the part of the Mojave Desert, which is very, very dry. If you've ever gone to Arizona Desert, it's drier and sterile more than that. And seven miles further, is the Nellis Air Force Base. So there's beginning a conspiracy. So if you drive out of Las Vegas, you can go hiking and Kenny Veach was an avid hiker and he was very, very resilient hiker. He really was. He would take enough water but only sip and go see how far as he could go. So he knew the place. A lot of people knew the place. Now, one hike, he goes out and finds a cave. He returns and he posts it on YouTube with a video. He says, I found a cave shaped like an M. It's shaped like the capital letter M. It's kind of narrow. And when I went up to it, like it's deep enough to go into, when I went up to it, it emitted a sound and sound waves. And it vibrated my body. And it vibrated my body so much that I got, he got scared. He left. 
and he told about this. So it's a story of a cave that no one has technically ever seen. At the end of that video, he posts it. People say, you know what? Go out there and find it. So the second time, he goes out to hike. He goes out to hike. He can't find it. Now, he's telling the story, I can't find the hike. He posts that video. They say, oh, you're faking it. So he goes out a third time. This time, no camera. He calls his girlfriend from a... Uh, what do you call those things? Movie theater. He calls his girlfriend from a movie theater. I'm going to go out on a hike. One or two days, maybe. Not unusual. And that's it. After that, he's missing person, and no one sees him again. <laughs> All these people on YouTube watching these videos are going, I'm going to solve this mystery. I'm Scooby-Doo and all that. So they go out there, and there's another missing hiker. Another person goes missing. Another person comes back. There's demons in the Mojave Desert, and they'll kill you. Don't ever go back. Let me show you something what I'm talking about. So you get a little bit of a visual. I have a little bit of a screen share here. This is Kenny V at the top of a mine shaft saying, I can't find it. There's in, in the M cave hike. <laughs> I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Somebody else went back there. Somebody else went back and they said, oh, you know what? There's a cave. And it was covered up. It was, it was covered up and, oh, I can't, I can't do that. Oh, okay. So there's a cave that looks like it's, they might've packed rocks into it, but it's not, it's a natural formation. See, they, they think it's a tunnel. This M cave is a tunnel to the back of area 51, which has gotta be 20 miles away. It emits sound vibrations there's aliens peeking through little peak holes <laughs> and everyone's posting these videos now it doesn't help I can't show the the I I want to I want to I want to bring this up here it is can you see this no wait hold on a second there's he, he went to a person who said he was uh, he said he was a son of an Area 51 guy. No, don't go back there. If you find that cave entrance, don't go in. If you do, get out. You won't get out. And he just, guy, it's his name, Snake Bit McGee. What makes you say that? That is, uh, oops, stop share. That is the last we hear of him. Except, now here's the thing. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is to show you that a simple story and you mix in social media, it could be Twitter, Instagram, or anything, and you get theories upon theories. And it's fun to say our UK investigator, Warlike Wrath, has a wonderful accent. And they say, okay, theory, we say with the TH sound, ear, theory. In, in the UK, it's air, like th air, th airy, fairy, and he kind of has a little accent, so it's fairies. So there's a bunch of conspiracy fairies about this. And one thing our UK investigator will say is he pointed out, he really, he was resilient too in investigating. He pointed out that Here's a guy that's in debt and he faked his own, it's a possibility he faked his own disappearance. And there was a break-in in his sister-in-law's place on CCT camera that looks like him going into this little shop with crystals and cactus to steal money? No, to steal a laptop. <laughs> so his daughter saw the video and said, hey, that's Uncle Kenny. Not his daughter, his niece. So that's Uncle Kenny. So the guy faked his own disappearance, most likely. And Kenny Beach, Beach spelled with a V, is less of a mythical fairyland of 
theories and conspiracy than he is just a simple missing person that he himself orchestrated his disappearance. Talk about wow. So beware of those stories and now you know a little of how they get manufactured for myth making. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much for your speech today.